Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new Justin Jefferson. But before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. With the subscribe button for notifications, we post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. We're live almost every single night over on Twitch. If you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And also, shout out to my man, Jack Griffith. Jack Griffith for commenting the emoji on last video. All right, so here is Justin Jefferson. He's got 96 B, 94 jumping, 98 catching, 95 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 98 short, 99 mid with 92 deep route running. And today we are rocking with full play fake and full sprinter on Justin Jefferson, putting him to a 97 overall. And I know there are some people out there that kind of wish that J Jeff had some better speed. I mean, me included, I wish it was at least, you know, 97, 98 with physicals, but 96, still not bad. And I'm telling you right now, I think, I think this card's going to play fine, even though the speed is a little bit concerning, uh, because this card's team of the week collectible. I ran this card's team of the week collectible for like two weeks after it came out. And people were always asking me, why do you have Justin Jefferson's collectible still? Um, that card's outdated. He's not good, but I'm telling you this card, I think he does need an ability to be really effective in this game, but with Slotomatic or Route Tech, Justin Jefferson is still going to play amazing. I can almost guarantee that. But also, I don't know how good he's going to be as a deep threat. So, um, you know, 92 deep route running is still solid, but 96 speed, basically every single corner, even some budget guys at this point of the year have 96 speed. So we're going to have to see how this card plays. I'll try him on the beater. I'm not sure how effective it's actually going to be, but I prob I'm probably going to try to keep this guy short on the zigs, the drags, the slants, the corners and stuff like that. That is the plan for today. But um, yeah, after the catch, Justin, Je Justin Jefferson is very similar to Stefan Diggs. 89 carrying, 88 COD, 94 ball carrier vision. It's the juke move threshold. Also, also has an 82 break tackle. So um, J. Jeff, pretty solid after the catch. Nothing too crazy. He's not like Odell or one of those more elite after the catch wide receivers, but still pretty solid. And um, yeah, like I said, he's a slot archetype in the X Factor slot. Today, we're rocking with Rack him Up. In the first slot, here's what he gets. Um, slot Slotomatic 2 AP, Matchup Nightmare 2 AP, Route Tech 2 AP. Um, slot apprentice 1 AP uh, with mid in and short out short in as well so some pretty good first slot abilities um, in the second slot though we're, we are rocking with nothing but he does add uh, mid out closer deep out deep in return man outside for 2 AP by the way um, second wind and recuperation and in the third slot today we're rocking with slot -omatic. obviously the popular ability on these slot archetype wide receivers and there's a reason why slot -omatic is so good because Unlike Route Tech, Route Tech's only good for route running. Like, it only will help him get separation. While Slotomatic not only helps with separation, it also boosts his catching as well. And it does make a huge difference, I'm telling you right now. Um, Slotomatic is definitely the better ability. And for 2 AP um, on these slot archetype wide receivers, it is it is just so big for them. So, um, yeah, pretty good abilities for J. Jeff, obviously, being a slot archetype. Um, Team Chem's only Minnesota, full play fake, full sprinter, like I said. But, uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Justin Jefferson's going to play fine for us today, like I said earlier. I'll keep him on the slants, the drags, the zigs, and the corner routes. Um, if the defense is playing us right, maybe I'll try a shot. You never know. But yeah, it's not talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game one. It's actually going to be a house rules game. I want to try this new Pro Bowl house rules. And uh, yeah, there's this man's top three. He's got a Titans theme team. I don't think I've seen one of these before. So Derrick Henry, Randy Moss. Also, also that new team of the week guy. I don't remember what his name is. But um, he's starting off with the ball here on defense. I mean, on, on offense. We're starting off this game here on defense. I have no idea what the rules are of this game. I'm guessing it goes to the end of the fourth quarter, but I have I, I don't really know what the rules are. All right, here we go. First throw was an incompletion, and we got a point, I believe, for it. I think he's going to the same exact play. We should pick this thing off right there with Dion. It's an interception plus three bonus points. All right, so we're on offense now. Um, we scored four. Well, actually, he lost points too, so we're up kind of big right now. We're up kind of big. All right, on Clowney. Let's watch out for the user. Or is he going to use your pass? I'm not sure what this guy's about to do. I just want to try to get uh, J. Jeff open here. Man coverage. There's that slot matic getting open. And he dropped it. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen a slot matic drop a pass like that after it's already hit his hands. That should have been an easy touchdown. Um, the throw was kind of bad, though. I want him to lead outside a little bit more. But, I mean, damn, I'm surprised. That, I'm really surprised that that ball was not called for a touchdown. All right, try to hit J. Jeff again. Low ball it. That's an easy catch for him. Uh, the slide automatic lighting up and a first down after the drop pass that he had, or the rare drop pass, I should probably say, 
Um, that's not gonna happen often. If, if it does, if it happens again in this video, I'd be very surprised. Right, let's try a little, a little angle route or a little short little corner right here from Jay Jeff. Wide open, touchdown Justin Jefferson. And we are up to a big lead right here in game one. I know it's house rules. Uh, that's why the lead is so big. But yeah, 31. Is he holding a fish? Is, that supposed to be, is, he, is he holding a fish? What is he? What kind of celebration is that? I don't even know. All right, so house rules game number two. He's got Charles Woodson, Aaron Rodgers, and Sam Mills. Um, the league MVP, Aaron Rodgers, by the way. And there's our top three. We got Deion Sanders, Marcus Peters, and who's my third guy? I don't even know who it is. I don't even know who it is, to be honest. Maybe Sean Taylor? And I don't know who it is. I, I, I don't even know. But we're starting off this game here on offense. Let's not try to throw any incompletions because I learned that incompletions lead to points for my opponent. So I don't want to throw any of those. But a, a beater wouldn't hurt. You know, I might, you know what we might do? We might go to a pass here early. And then if that works and we can see what kind of defense he's playing then we dial up the beater for jay jeff but yeah once again justin jefferson in that wide slot let's see if he's playing a cover two or man um cover two it looks like should have a good dot sideline jay jeff getting open once again all right here we go so our ball on the left hash mark the guy was playing a cover three i want to try to be on that right hash mark so i'm going to run the ball here get to the right hash mark actually a really good run believe it or not double juke that cut it a field by jamal charles beautiful love to see it and now we're going to uh, we're gonna go with a nice little uh, PA Saint shot here to Justin Jefferson against this cover three. And if he has the speed, I think he has good enough speed to beat a cover three. It's the man coverage on those deep routes that scare me. So here we go. Let's see what. Uh, oh, he gets really good edge pressure though, which might be a problem. Actually, this guy falls off the edge. Should have J Jeff, and that's be a touchdown, man. Touchdown, Justin Jefferson. Let's go. So yeah, his speed is good enough to beat zones. It's just the man coverage on deep routes where I think Justin Jefferson's gonna have his problems, but. So far, he's been nothing but dominant. Besides that one drop, Justin Jefferson just been an absolute menace out there, man. Oh, he switched over to Tyron Matthew. Oh, he, he, got, he got cooked. The user got cooked by J. Jeff. Score, please. Let's go. Touchdown, Justin Jefferson. His third of the video. Oh, oh he cooked the user. Like, you got to know what's coming at that point. Justin Jefferson, seven receptions, 141 yards. That's definitely not right, actually. There's no Those stats are definitely, like, pre-in the stat book already. All right, here we go. House rules game number three. Um, not the best team that we've seen today. You got Darius Williams in that top three with one step, by the way, which if you are a budget team, one step is 100% the move. Even if you're not a budget team, one step still is just overpowered. So more of the stories run one step, but not the best top three we've seen so far today. Let's just try to keep Justin Jefferson off of Darius Williams because even though he is a lower overall than Justin Jefferson and probably is Justin Jefferson is probably faster I still think that he'll probably be able to make a few plays on the ball. But, yeah, who's he got? Oh, he has three one-steps. Marshawn, but he's playing zone, I think. So, it's one-steps won't do much. But corner route, once again, we're going to have it. J. Jeff, inbounds, first down. Get out, get up, saw, get up. There we go. Throw the dot. Throw the dot. We should have it. Oh, my God, from Patrick Mahomes. Right over the head of Malcolm Jenkins. Touchdown. <laughs> Justin Jefferson, he does it again, man. Wow. And we do have the ball back thanks to an interception from Teron Matthew. But if there's one thing that this video has taught you, hopefully it's that Justin Jefferson, even though he's got 96 speed, he can still beat zones over the top. I can't speak for man coverage, but he's a very elite short and mid route runner. The deep route running for me was in question. And I mean, I got proved wrong. This guy's killing zones over the top. I mean, half his TDs are on that beater. So, so far, man, Jay Jeff's been balling. So if that was ever a question for you or you didn't think he was able to do it, uh, J. Jeff can get it done, man. For some reason, Chris Cooley can still air truck. Someone's got to patch that. All right, I'm going to try the corner out to J. Jeff. It's probably going to get locked up pretty well by his user. But if not, oh, it's going to get locked up by his user. Maybe not, actually. J. Jeff, touchdown. J. Jeff, touchdown back of the end zone. I lost track. These house rules games make the TD numbers go crazy. But, I mean, those stats are definitely not right. But J. Jeff balled out, man. That's the moral of the story. 14 to 39. 14 to 39. That's That's a blowout. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the Justin Jefferson gameplay. And I think Justin Jefferson's absolutely amazing, no doubt about it. Um, I didn't think he'd be that good as a deep threat, and he definitely proved me wrong. Dude had like half his TDs on the beater. And I mean, with that 92 deep route running, 96 speed, I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to do it, and he proved me wrong. Um, I think it's because he's 6'1", and it's the slot archetype, honestly. For some reason, that combination just makes his car to get open. Um, I think he's, I don't, he's not end game. I think we're still going to get, I think we're still due for one more J. Jeff upgrade this year. But, um, I mean, for the, for the time being, this card's very effective as a second or third option. Just make sure you have route tech or slot o on him. Um, I'm not sure how well this card's going to play without it, but for sure, 
with Raptor or Slotomatic, Justin Jefferson is super elite. So, uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the snowman emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.